so privileged. Uh, once I touched Breeze America, she's one of the people I saw when I came to the hotel to be speaking to her. Hey, T, like your phone, ma. Hey, my phone. Hey, <laughs> you know, until when I saw even the song that you sang in Ever, I wasn't too sure whether you were Ever or not. You know, some people can't, you know, I sing I sing songs in Chi. Right. So oh, okay. once you could speak the language, I'm quite biased. <laughs> <laughs> but, That's good. But congratulations to you. Uh, you had how many nominations? Uh, um, I got four nominations. Four last nominations night. last yes. night. Last year you had how many? I had three. Okay, so that's an improvement yes. on last year's. How does that feel? Um, it feels great. Um, it also goes to say that um, your craft has been appreciated or whatever you're doing. Um, it's blessed in a lot of generations and that is why um, they recognize you to get those awards. So mm. I would say it's it's quite exciting. Wow. Before we proceed, can I I got something for you, so can I okay. give it to you? Okay, yeah. okay. So there's a little something, something. Um, okay. It has a million dollar check in there. Oh, so. <laughs> I'm so blessed. So there's something for you. Thank you very much. Uh, I must say on camera, this is the first present I received from a Ghanaian USA based, and I'm kind of simple, American Ghanaian, uh, whatever, Ghanaian US based artist. Um, I'm so grateful. Uh, and so I'm grateful. I won't show you what is in there now. Or oh, you want me to show them? I can show them. Okay, they quickly, see let's it. see. Let's see what's in there. Before, oh, 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 you see that. So when you see me smelling good, know that Hetty is the woman behind it. So thank you very much, Hetty. I really, really appreciate this. So, like I was saying in the introduction, I'm not mm -hmm. too sure uh, what the name is. Mm -hmm. Is it Hoggy Oggy? I hear a lot of Hoji. 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 Yeah. Like hospital. Hoji. Yeah, Hoji. Oh. So I'm 100% Ghanaian. Okay. My dad and mom is Ghanaian, so yes, Koji. So that's Eve? Yeah, Eve, yes. Hey, my life for dinner, Milo. Koji. Koji. <laughs> Koji. Okay, so <laughs> Americans say Koji. Me, I say Koji. Anyway, great to have that clarification because mm -hmm. I was hearing during the uh, announcement, I kept hearing, you know, and I was like, what's they saying? Right. But um, like I, I was saying, to me, a lot of things to do look like diner. Wow. Am I the first person saying this? Oh, uh, yes, actually. <laughs> ah, I hope I didn't offend you by saying oh, that. Oh, no, 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 no. Mm. Oh, mm. I really admire her and I, I love her ministry, but I feel like I'm me. I didn't know that there was, my, 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 my mannerism even looks like the way she ministers. I didn't even know, mm. but I'll take that as a compliment. So how do you come by these songs? Are these songs that people write for you? Uh, or the songs that you get to sleep at night, you know, the Holy Spirit beckons you as you're sleeping and shows you lyrics on some slate somewhere. <laughs> How does it work? So it's a little bit of both. Um, for Yahweh, a very good friend of mine wrote that song for me. Okay. Um, for Overflow and um, the other songs that I'm working on now, um, I mean, working on my album, so all the other songs coming out now are songs that I write myself. For Overflow, I usually have a concert that I do in the U.S. every summer. Okay. We're going to be having one this June 6th. Wow. Um, it's called Overflow Concert. So when I got the theme for the concert, I decided to write a theme song for the concert instead of using other people's songs to promote my brand. So okay. um, by the inspiration of God, I, I think one day I was driving from church after a Friday ministration and then I got the, um, the, the, I mean, the chorus for the song. I just felt that... Um, harmony or melodies in my heart for this is my overflow season that kind mm, of vibe mm. so when I got it down um, uh, among other time that I'm I'll be in deep worship I'll get uh, I mean the rest of it so when I put everything together it came up um, for the entire song so the overflow song is actually inspired by the concert but then also a message to other people who um, feels that even in the midst of difficulty, God is not even able to um, give you an overflow of His blessings. Mm. And I know that we are dealing with a lot um, lately. Just 2020 has been a, a special year. Mm. We've, lo we've lost a lot of loved ones, but um, in the midst of that, God is still saying that He's still capable to show us the overflow of His blessings. So it's a little bit of all Is that. the overflow the one that you are changing your dressing? <laughs> is, that, is, that, is that the video for overflow? I think so. <laughs> I saw the video and I'm like, okay, why do you keep pulling the dress? Who 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 decided to wear the dress yourself? No. What happened? <laughs> no. It looked like you were so uncomfortable in the dress. You kept pulling. No, I wasn't actually. I I, I love that dress. Uh -huh. It's a pretty dress. I but saw <laughs> that. I also saw you pull a number of times. Oh, I plead the faith on that. <laughs> ah! Oh, can't. I, I feel the fit. <laughs> I, I'm pushing you to say what you don't want to say. 
but does, does that also become a conversation here in america in ghana most often a conversation will be you know very rife on what a gospel artist wears mm -hmm. how she looks mm -hmm. whether her makeup is loud mm -hmm. whether it's subtle you know things like that are conversational in right. ghana right how does it work in america do you overlook things like that or you go to church and people are saying, oh, you're a gospel artist, you don't have to look this way. No, I think it's more of um, a cultural thing. Mm. Here in the U.S., they don't look at a lot of those things. I think it's more of your heart towards God. So um, it's more of saying that Christianity shouldn't be boring. Mm. I shouldn't tie a scarf to feel the presence of God. I can still have my pretty braids and still feel the presence or look uh, good. But the key word I would say is that whatever you put on, you have to just make sure you're comfortable in it mm. enough. And then it doesn't, and two will be seen to you, if I should put it that way. Mm. So I think for Ghana and US, that is a difference. Ghanaians pick a lot on these things, but here in the US, the culture keeps a lean way. But the, the, as, as I'm saying, your heart should be right with God. Would you would you want to come, you know, to Ghana to fully um, pursue your craft? Yes, I have plans. Um, um, I mean, I have planned that. I'm working. It's in the works. And um, last two years, I traveled to Ghana to do a mini concert. Oh. Actually, I have an NGO that mm, support various communities. So last two years. I traveled to Ghana to do a mini concert with MOG. Akesi Brimpong was also there. Oh. Fifi Fosun was also there to support me. Mm. And we raised funds to support the Wager Leposarium. Mm. So Wager. what I do in the US is that when I release new songs and then I promote it on social medias and then all the digital platform, um, I get all the proceeds. I take part of it, travel to Ghana, and then choose a community and then be a blessing to them. So yes, it's in the works. I want to come to Ghana and maybe have an event, have a concert that eventually is going to end up being yearly so that I can also bless the people in Ghana. Mm. So so um, I keep asking you guys here because in Ghana it's a lot easier because that's where we are based and mm -hmm. it's it's quite small. You can touch base with people in Accra and Kumasi, you know, through the power of radio, but you're far away in America. Mm -hmm. How much of your song mm -hmm. For your estimation is head at home so i would say the songs that i released previously um i did promote it in ghana but it wasn't as um effective as i promoted overflow so overflow by the grace of god i have a team of radio stations in ghana who are playing the song on constant basis um i think she's melodies and um, all the other stations, I think Joy FM plays it, mm -hmm. Fifi Person and all the other stations. So this is a team that I've put together that plays so it. So you deliberately put together a team in team Ghana. Ghana to okay. promote it. Wow. So it builds that grounds for you that, okay, if somebody doesn't even know, at least they've heard Overflow in Ghana before. So once you decide to come to Ghana to do something, at least they would have heard your song or heard the name from a radio station or something. Mm -hmm. And also moving forward, what I want to do is that anytime I release songs, apart from promoting it over here, I want to also do a massive promotion in Ghana as well so mm -hmm. that in the future when you want to do any project or any concert in Ghana they would have heard your name and it's easier for them to connect with you on that level mm -hmm. other than them not hearing anything about you just pop up and say hey I'm Hedzi Koji Canadian Zone flow like that mm -hmm. they have to know you on a, at least on a minimal level before they can connect with you as an artist mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. so, yeah. it's good you know your people yeah. <laughs> but uh, what about collaboration some people see collaborations as uh, a means to you know penetrate yeah is that also one of the strategies you have have you collaborated with any of these established artists in Ghana Yes, so my first song um, that I released in 2019, I collaborated with MOG. Yeah, Royals. <laughs> yeah, Royals, Royals I know. Mm -hmm. I collaborated with MOG. Um, I'm working on some other collaborations. Um, it should be a surprise. So this mm -hmm. year you would hear something. And I, I, let's put it this way. Once the song is out, you'll be the first to know. Oh. And yeah, so I'm wow. working with some other um, artists as well. Mm -hmm. Um, some in Ghana and then some in other countries as well. So like we're working hard. I see. Um, yeah. So the other countries are also to penetrate those countries. Yes, on mm. that ma that market as mm. well. Mm. How difficult is it for you as an artist here mm -hmm. in America mm. doing Ghanaian tunes? I was speaking to somebody earlier and he was telling me that he wants to impact the world mm -hmm. and wants to be famous around the world. Mm -hmm. Blah blah blah. And I said, oh, the world is USA. You right. Know? <laughs> so <laughs> where else, you know? Right. But how difficult or easy is it for you as a Ghanaian artist? in a multicultural setting mm -hmm. like the USA, mm -hmm. how difficult is it for you to penetrate? I would say that it's a little bit challenging, challenging in the sense that um, the people here don't speak our local dialect. 
and because we are Ghanaians and the first our first point of contact to God is through our local dialect. Mm. Typically when a Ghanaian can sing a contemporary song or an English song, but when a Ghanaian hears a local song, they connect to God on a different le mm. level. Mm. And because the people here are not Ghanaian, you have to um, produce songs that are contemporary that they can understand the language to I mean I mean for the song to even minister to them. Mm. Now the challenge is that you need a lot of money to promote the song from this end because mm -hmm. the market is already choked. How can you be competing with Tasha Cops? Because this is her market. Mm -hmm. I like like I go to Ghana and I'm Ghanaian. Tasha she cannot come and speak tree. Mm -hmm. I mean I make a tree, that kind of vibe. Mm -hmm. So it's it's more of you try to connect with um, people here if it's not collaboration, try and, I mean, have some kind of network with them. So I, I'm, I can say that last two years, I was grateful enough to do the concert. I hosted JJ Heston. Wow. He's an American artist. And after that, he we have this good relationship with him that we, we, go, we go to his office and he tells us about his projects. So what I intend to do on that relationship is that we could, I can go sit with him and ask him, you are here, how do I grow? How do I impact the generation? Now, the other side of the thing is that is we need like finances is one thing because all these things doesn't come by just producing a good song you need some um good money to push the money the the, the, song. the song so if you are somebody who is just single doing like a five to nine you don't have enough money you're paying your bills you know america a lot of bills goes mm -hmm. around right mm -hmm. so it puts a, l a little bit of limitation on how far you want to penetrate the market one other thing i also realize is that when you're able to penetrate the Ghana market and you're very, very relevant in Ghana market, it's easier for the Americans to connect with you on that level. Wow. So How it's the other work? way around. How does that work? So the way it works is that um, you know how uh, Tim Godfrey is mm -hmm. huge mm -hmm. in uh, um, Nigeria. Mm -hmm. And I keep saying last two years again. So last two years when I did my concert, I had the opportunity to uh, bring over, I mean, fly over the sound engineer from Tim Godfrey's church, the wow. experience, the guy who mm -hmm. produces it to this place. So, so he connected me to JJ Hurston. Wow. So all these things are connection. So because they know Tim Godfrey is big in the oh, US okay. or Joe Metal is big in Ghana, mm. it's easier for an American artist to easy, co easily connect with them mm. because they know that your country recognizes you. And this is where I give a special shout out to the Ghana Music Awards USA because once they start to throw light on the artists here and start to recognize their work, the other artists here in the US can say that, ha, huh, if your country even appreciates what you do, then we feel like we can connect with you on that level. Mm -hmm. But if your country doesn't even see what you're doing, how can we Americans see what you're doing? So I feel like that is where the Ghana Music Awards try to bridge the gap so it can make, I mean, they can throw more light on the artists and also appreciate their work and also, you know, give them the platform to I mean, cross uh, over to the other side. Mm. So it's a little bit of finances, a little bit of network, and a little bit of hard work. How, what about the force that you guys have already? So you talk about Ghana Music Awards USA bringing together a lot of you. Mm -hmm. um, in Ghana, we have associations, you know, mm -hmm. we have the Gospel Fraternity, you know, under the Musician Union of Ghana. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you guys have things like that. Um, is this going to also allow you guys to build fraternities like that so that you also become a formidable force or it doesn't work here? So they don't, uh, I don't know about the Ghanaian aspect, but I know they have the Stellis Award mm. that is more of a community. And what I did for myself was that I went and did a little research into Stellis Award because that is the award show, that is a gospel award that is recognized here. And I registered for it. You have to register for the Stellis Award to be a member for them to even recognize you as an artist. Mm. So just like you're saying in Ghana music, like music or whatever, you have to register for it. So, if you are an artist in the US and you want to be recognized by all these other bodies, do a little research and try to register. And are there limitations on registering uh, for the Stella Awards, for, for instance? Because you might say, oh, your song is not popular or it doesn't have anything to do with popularity. You just have to just say, oh, I'm a musician based here in America and I want to be part of this. Yeah, I don't think there are limitations. Oh, you haven't registered yet? I have registered. Okay. I don't think there are limitations. But once you register, you're a member. They open up the nominations for everybody, so mm. you submit your song, and then you just hope that your song is selected. But as I said, you have to you have to promote your song to a certain level for mm. your song to be heard on radio stations over here, for them to go like, okay, we've heard that song. Is it possible? Oh yes, it is. That's what I'm saying. Yeah.